pray for our first candidate, Miss Baguio. No, let, let, uh, let the media choose. All right, sige, sir. <laughs> so who's gonna be the first? Uh, all right, interviewer. Okay. Okay. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. from Manila Standard. Uh, please step forward, uh, Pasig City, Quezon City, and Baguio City. Uh, di ba, we're celebrating Women's Month no, this March. Um, may I know, um, uh, I know pieces na kayo, pero you still look up to, to other women. Uh, so, who's your inspiration or your most admirable woman, except uh, from your mom? in the world and why? You may answer first, Pasek Sigmi. I think um, I can consider myself as an inspiration for everyone because aside for being a single parent, um, I raised my son alone and of course I'm a resilient woman who always pursue my dreams and always uh, positive in everything I do. That's why everything, I make it possible. Living in a make it possible today. Thank you. Perfect. What about you, Ms. Katansiki? So aside from my mom, I think it's Mother Teresa. To tell you honestly, I'm a very religious person. And I always do my best in everything I do. So just do your best and God will do the rest. Oh. Amen. I think Queen Elizabeth, because as um, as an empowered woman, woman, uh, she ruled a country. That's all. Thank you. Good luck to the three of you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless, guys. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Okay. Our next uh, press. Hello, uh, ladies. J Patam for Manila Business Insider. I'd like to ask. Uh, Three ladies, let's start with uh, San Mateo, um, Quezon Province, and come on, please, set forward, and uh, Pasay City. Yes, I, I only have one question for all three of you. What is your advocacy na isusulong mo sa pagsari mo dito sa uh, Mrs. Space of Tourism Philippines? Um, ako po, ang advocacy ako po kasi is uh, ma-promote ang ating bansa. Hindi po, uh, hindi ingin po kasi sa ibang bansa, hindi, hindi pa po masyado na pa-promote yung mga magagandang lugar dito sa atin. At um, alam ko po na marami po tayo pwedeng may pagmalaki na lugar. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Karen. Good evening po. So my advocacy in joining the Miss uh, Phase of Tourism Philippines is a responsible tourism. Because I believe that a tourism is a great way to uh, uh, great uh, opportunities and a means of bolstering the local economy. So uh, as a woman, who was born in, a, in an island. So, masasabi ko po na we offer adventure in our place. But aside from uh, mag-enjoy tayo sa magandang lugar, uh, ipinopromote ko na maging responsable turista po tayo sa lahat po ng lugar na ating pupuntahan. Hindi lang po sa Pilipinas, kung hindi sa ibang lugar. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Janet. Good evening, sir. For me, advocacy about the single parents families because need the Romantic educating and equipping, and also the resources information. And apart from that, um, the social networking for those who wants to get help. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Pasa. Thank you. And of course, to our ladies, thank you. <laughs> Um, please step forward, um, Paranyaki, uh, Medellin, 
Nalala rin siya. Iho. Iho? Okay. Kasi marami na magtatanong kay Quezon City sa Mateo. So, exclude ko na kayong dalawa. Marikina, please. Okay. Um, isa question lang. Ano sa palagay niyo ang pinaka-hardest part of being a woman? I think the hardest part of being a woman is bearing a child in her womb for nine months. Uh, it's not an easy task. Uh, you need to nurture the child within. You need to take care of yourself so that you can you will be able to take care of the child within. And giving birth is another thing because you just need to you do uh, uh, you just don't need to feed her. You need to educate and to teach her moral values so that uh, when he grows up, he will be a good citizen of the country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Para sa akin po, ang hardest part na para maging ina ay yung kailangan tanggapin ang mga anak mo sa iba't ibang ugali nila. Kailangan mo silang i-accept the power of acceptance as for the unconditional love para sa magkula. Okay, thank you. Anyway, may questions not just for mother but for a woman. Okay. Uh, para sa atin po, kasi ang pagiging babae, hanggang ngayon po ay hindi pa rin tinatanggap na ay babae yan. Ngayon po, kailangan ipakita natin na hindi porket babae, kaya, kaya ng lahat. Kaya dapat sabihin natin sa kanila na, ay, hindi ako, hindi lang ako babae, babae ako. Um, okay, the hardest part of being a woman, I think, is being a man. Why being a man? Kasi marami na kasi ngayong mga single mothers or a breadwinner sa isang family. So, para sa akin, being a woman, napaka-hard sa akin kung ang mga trabaho ko or ang mga ginagampanan ko ay dapat gampanan ng isang lalaki. But because I'm a woman, I'm a res resilient kind of uh, woman. We are women. We are God's gift na kaya nating lampasan ko anong mga problema ang binigay sa atin. Not just being a woman, but also as a man it's itself. So, that's it. Um, the hardest part of being a woman is being a man at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I'm Attorney Todd of DWIZ and the News Watch. Thank you. Thank you, sir, and lovely candidates. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Mars Franz. Um, I just like to ask Miss Malolos Bulacan, Pasay, and Tanawan Lite. Magandang gabi sa inyo. My question to you is, um, we know that Miss Universe Philippines now is um, accepting mothers and single mom. What is your thoughts about that? Well, my thought about that is, um, like myself, I'm already a mother of four and I already had a grandson. So it's okay na i-present natin yung sarili natin. Because, me, I want to be the best optimum example of all the women, especially those women who are their golden age, like me. Na, despite of our age, there is always a hope, a new chance, a new life, a new journey that awaits us. And aside from that, there's always a new challenge that I also wanted to conquer. So, if ever that they're really accepting Mrs. Sa Mrs. Uh, universe, well, I guess, kung kaya pa ng edad ko, sa sarili din ako. <laughs> because right now, Mrs. Face of Tourism Philippines, this is my new journey, my new challenge that I want to conquer. Diba? Kasi every woman, every one of us, 
we wanted to create our own mark in this world. Be our own legacy that to be admired and to look up to. Para paglaki ng mga anak namin, ng mga apo, ay, lola ko yan, ay, nanay ko yan, yung mga tipong gano'n, kumbaga, may pagmamalaki ka. At saka makaka-encourage ka din nung iba pang mga babae na nalulungkot sa buhay nila. Something like that. So, I'm proud kung talagang totoo na kasali na ang mga misis. Totoo po. May tatlo na yun. Wow. Sasali na po. Next year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello. Good evening, everyone. Um, siguro magiging opinion ko sa pagsali ng mga kaba, ng mga single mothers, kung as well as kaya niya naman at kaya niya ipakita na kaya niya lahat gawin, bakit hindi po? Kasi lahat naman po tayo, pantay-pantay na ipakita yung ating talento at kakayahan bilang sumali sa ganang patipala. So, bakit hindi po? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much for that very nice question. And once again, good evening, everyone. My thought about that idea of those misses or those married women who are joining Miss Universe is that I do believe that in our country, there is always right to equality. And I do believe that it doesn't mean that if you are already married, you are not allowed anymore to join in any pageant. Because as long as you have your talent, capabilities, and skills to show to the world that you have everything that you have, you are enough to be called a Miss Universe. And I think that would be all. And always remember that we should always love ourselves. Despite of our imperfections, we must always remember that we are created by God. And I do believe that I am perfectly imperfect. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much to our lovely candidates. Okay, good evening, ladies. Ah, hindi pa yung mga hindi katata. Patil na yun. Just like, how do you plan to use the Mrs. Face of Tourism title if you win it? Um, gagamitin ko po siya para mag-inspire po sa lahat po ng single mom kasi isa po akong single mom and um, para maniwala po sila sa sarili nila kasi um, ako po kasi talagang mahiyain po talaga po tapos first time ko din kong sumali and um, gusto ko pong ipakita na kaya ko din po thank you wow, okay. thank you and Mrs. Santa Rosa uh, if you will win the Mrs. Spate of Tourism uh, crown, how you will going to use your title in order to be a great influence and inspiration to other married women and single mother? Thank you, sir. Para po sa akin, kung ako po ang pagpapalari po, gagamitin ko po yun sa mabuting palaan bilang isang uh, mabuting ina. Sasabihin ko po sa bawat isa na maging, ikaw po ang magiging ihemplo, idol, idolo po sa mga kababaihan. Gagawin mo po ing, ang gagawin mo po ng maayos ang iyong uh, pag-uugali unang-una, attitude po, at yun po ang ipagmamalik mo sa lahat po ng uh, mga kababaihan at maging idolo ka po sa kanila. Thank you. Well said. Thank you. Miss Alisa is you. Okay. Uh, why do you believe that pageantry for married women for married women, it's relevant. Once again, good evening. My answer was, goes like this. Pageantry. For married women. For married women. Yeah, it's, it's relevant. relevant. It is, it's very relevant because I know it in that kind of pageant, uh, we learn how to how to modeling, mm -hmm. how to show our talent, mm -hmm. and as a woman, we do all the best because as I know that nowadays, a man and woman are equal footings in terms of career and possession. What men can do, women can do also. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mrs. Tagaytay, what is that one thing that best describes you as a candidate of Mrs. Face of Tourism 2023? 
Ang isa po sa pinakamagandang katangian na madidescribe para sa akin ay ang pagiging matatag. Dahil sa mga kabila ng mga pagsubok na aking naranasan, andito po ako sa harapan niyo ngayon. Tumatayo po at naging confident kong humaharap sa inyo na ano man pong pagsubok at dumating sa atin, kagaya ko po, ako po ay isang single parents na matayan po ng asawa. Uh, dapat po, hindi po tayo mag-focus sa mga pagsubok na madidilim. Kailangan po, maging tumayin po tayo, maging inspirasyon tayo ng ating mga anak, ng ating mga magulang. At sana po, ipakita rin natin sa buong mundo na kahit ano man po ang mga problema, maging, maging ano po tayo, confident pa rin po, at sana po, tumayo po tayo bilang uh, mag, pinakamagaling na tao po. Yan po. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. And finally, Mrs. Tan sa Kabite. Okay, Mrs. Tan sa Kabite. Uh, why do you consider yourself an empowered woman? Um, good evening, everyone. Everybody, everyone. Uh, I consider myself as an empowered woman because I believe that I have a confidence and uh, I can uh, promote my nation and to being a role model as uh, Mrs. Face Teresa. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies. Best of luck. All right. Thank you, sir. And thank you to our 16 lovely candidates. Hello. All right. Yes, hello, good evening. My name is Francois Nies from Project Tag Philippines. So may I call in uh, Baguio City, Mrs. Quezon City, and Mrs. San Mateo. Good evening, everyone. Um, LGBTQ has been uh, slowly accepted into society nowadays. So may I just ask, or what is your opinion about um, LGBTQ members who are parenting child, a child or children? Yes, to tell you honestly, even if I'm a Christian, I'm the very one, uh, I mean, I'm the very first supporters of LGBT. Do you know why? Because of my brother. She's my number one supporter. To tell you honestly. And I will support him. Equality first. So, if someday, I want him to have his own family. And if, it's, if that's the way that he's going to do it, I will 101% support him. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, LGBT community, uh, we don't need to ano, discriminate yung mga tao because there are some LGBTs na they are the breadwinners of their own family. They can help with the people. So, I, I salute all those LGBTs. Thank you. Para sa akin po, may silang sasabihin ito. Uh, mapa ano ka man, mapa bakla, tobo, babae o lalaki, um, lahat po yan ay pare-parehas na tao. Lahat po tayo ay may karapatan. Karapatan na patay-pantay at mabuhay ng normal. Maraming salamat po. The opportunity to boost the tourism and eco-tourism industry in our municipality and in our province. I will use my voice to influence the youths and young generations because we all know that every place has a unique story. Just like what happened during the Typhoon Yolanda, our place was destroyed, our loved ones were injured, and unfortunately, some of them died. But still, Tanawananons and Leitenios are strong brave and resilient and every day we are working to have a better and brighter Tanawan Leite. Thank you. Um, when I found out that there is kind of competition like this for, for married and mothers like me, um, I, ano, nagka-interest agad ako and I told myself, 
this is the best platform. Because ever since when I was young, I've been dreaming of becoming a beauty queen. Um, I joined two pageants when I was 16 years old, but unfortunately, hindi ako nakaplace because at the time I was so very, ano pa, virgin. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, diba? It's true. Yeah. So, nee, because I came from the province, walang masyadong exposure. So, um, ang ginawa ko na lang, because I, I considered myself before as a frustrated beauty queen. Chaka. So, yun, um, I've been supporting beauty, uh, aspiring beauty queens. Since I was uh, elementary, I was in grade 3, until last year. So, so support ako sa mga nakikita kong potential. Kasi yung hindi ko nga nagawa last time, hindi nangyari sa akin, dun ko pinukos lahat. So, I, 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 almost closed my, I almost closed the door for myself in becoming a beauty queen. Until I found out, um, and I would like to thank um, Madam, the, or the organizer of this pageant, na, um, nabigyan pa ako ng chance at my age and, and having children. So, I'm very thankful talaga for having this kind of platform for us. And again, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope na mag-continue mag to um, until maraming mga aspiring beauty queens, mothers like me, like us. So, um, yun. Ano to yun? Ano yun ulit? <laughs> so, wala ako. Um, uh, basta yun. I joined this pageant because I believe in the organization. I believe in the platform. Thank you. I was there during your screening, and personally, Ms. Um, Egtai, I, I, I know some of your stories. And I just like to ask you, um, what does winning Mrs. Fates of the recent Philippines mean to you, despite of the struggles that you have in your life? Ang Mrs. Face of Tourism ay napakalang yung halagang bahagi sa buhay ko. Dahil naipapakita ko ang aking pagiging isang confident nga po. At alam ko po na lahat po ng mga nangyayari sa buhay ay may dahilan. At may dahilan po kung bakit narito ako ngayon. Ang malamang mananalo po ako. Yeah. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And um, congratulations. I'm so happy for you because the last time you talked, um, you were, you were just want you just wanted to be part of this competition. Yes. And congratulations. And now, Janina, um, I remember this, uh, during your screening, I posted a video of you, and it was it went viral because you know you changed a lot already from your previous. But I go to positive aspects or side. Um, yeah, what does winning this title mean for you? It means a lot to me. This is Janina 2.2 oh, 2. and I'm very confident. I love my family and I don't feel any pressure right now. Thank you Janina, best of luck. Thank you. Thank you for supporting us. Good to see you again. Congratulations in advance, Ms. Annie, congrats. Ms. Annie, congrats, yes. Any more questions, please, yes. Hi, good evening. My name is Peter from Critical Beauty Philippines. Did it, she got the look before? Okay. What have you learned in that competition that you can apply today? And what things that are not already applicable? I've learned before is um, that I have low self-esteem before because I was I lacked in height. Was she's got the look? We have to have the height. Was that's a modeling pageant, pageant. But now I've learned that um, I need to be uh, no, uh, I need to believe in myself. Whether I'm tall or I'm not or, or I'm short, I always believe in mas nakakapuwing ang maliit. Okay, thank you. For the Geek City, this is your first pageant. Yes. Okay, what have you learned so far? Um, ngayon po kasi masaya po yung family namin, nag-enjoy din po ako. And marami po ako natutunan po sa mga, um, sa mga mga miss po, ayun po. Tapos sobrang masaya po na nag-enjoy po ako. Um, enjoy lang po talaga. Thank you po. Okay, thank you. 
for Miss Passing City, Mrs. Passing City, um, please describe yourself in three words. Um, I'm a resilient woman. I'm a determined and flexible. Okay. I'm a resilient woman because I always pursue my dreams and also I'm flexible in a situation and in a place and I'm always determined to pursue my dreams in every struggle I face it calmly and positively. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lola's parang manita. Yes. Yes. Do you think your popularity is an advantage or disadvantage in being a candidate of Mrs. Taysom? Ah, please. I don't think my popularity is an advantage because as far as I know, Mrs. Face of two reason Philippines, uh, we compete not only for the beauty and for our name, that we made before, but also we compete with our own intellectual, our own skills and talents. Thank you. Question? Yes, um, as you know, I'm a broadcast communication um, student before, and good and bad publicity is still publicity. And for sure, I'll be the very best person for this organization organization and I will promote tourism in our country to recover after the global pandemic. That's my advocacy. Thank you. Parang hindi na magsalita na siya ka po nabisa na. Ay, Miss Kesa City. Parang yung nasa isip po na wala bigla. Anyway, um, sa akin po kasi, pagka um, popular ka, it's an advantage po. Na, na talagang para sa akin. Ha? At uh, magagamit po, pa, mo po talaga ito. Pero syempre, um, kailangan mo rin po samahan ng galing, tiwala sa sarili. Maraming salamat po. Thank you. I just want to ask Ms. Baguio. Ms. Baguio, please. Thank you, girls. Alright, Ms. Baguio. Yes, salamat. What is your app? <laughs> it's considered as a novel profession because without teachers, there would be no other professions. And aside from being a teacher, we are considered not just a teacher, but we serve as second parents to our students. In my own situation as a high school mathematics teacher, I am not just a teacher to my students, but also, I serve as their facilitator, moderator, and when the time comes that they need my expertise, I am willing to teach them not only in this four corner of our classroom, but I am also having home visitation program because I do believe that the learners will be the future leaders of our country. Thank you. Uh, for Mrs. Marikina City, what philosophy in life do you value most? Um, the philosophy in life that I value most is uh, never give up, just uh, keep on trying that um, in trying again and again because there is no limit in trying every time we, we fall because every failure we must consider them as a learning experience and from them we must uh, stand up and learn from them that mistake and come up uh, stronger and powerful. <laughs>